All right, YouTube, one with six Falconer. Uh, we're going to check an electric choke thermostat here today. This is off my my boy's '87 F250. Has a Holly a Motorcraft Holly four barrel carburetor. It's running great since I took all the vacuum lines off. But in the cold weather, it doesn't want to kick down from it, it it won't stand fast idle it goes to like mid idle so we're gonna check the thermostat now the way it's at right there if you can see it it's all the way over here that's cold um so what i have to do now also on this carburetor there is no way to adjust the choke it is you have this this spacer in between the choke housing and the thermostat and it's indexed as you can see right here that's the one part where this goes in there um let's see here Do, do, do. And the other part, which is indexed, goes into the actual choke housing. So there's no way to turn this thermostat to uh, to set your choke. And I've I've talked to all kinds of people, and everybody says, "Oh, you just turn your housing." Well, you cannot turn the housing; it's locked in place. So, anyways. So I'm gonna hook up 12 volts to this. Uh, positive here, I'm gonna ground it here. I have my my uh, 12 volt, uh, whatever the hell thing is, power supply. Um, so basically this spring here, now this is, this is choke closed, which I mean that part works fine. So when it heats up, when this thermostat heats up, it should open, the spring should go to just about where this index is right here maybe a little beyond so let's hook it up and uh see what happens all right so positive There, around, it's going to go here, I'm going to use a couple clips here, All right, so I got that grounded there because on either side are your grounds. This is your hot. So let me uh, put that up. Let me plug in my uh, converter here and we'll see what happens. It's supposed to take about five minutes for this to open. this set here so we can watch it I'll set my phone up come on you prick can we see what's going on there all right 
Oh, power's on. Let me get a stopwatch going here. Do, 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 do. Alright, we'll do the stopwatch. Let it get going. And we'll see here. I'm gonna leave it run. Shit's too slippery. Oh, it's heating up. I can feel that. <clears throat> so we'll let it run. See how long it takes to get to. I want to be on. I want to be on the top side of that divot there. Well, as you can see, two and a half minutes, and we're beyond that. So I don't understand why this wants to keep kicking down. Um, into mid idle, because that's obviously working fine I'm gonna let it keep rolling maybe uh, maybe work that spring a little bit wonder how much tension is on there Not a lot of spring tension, but it still should be enough to, to keep that open without kicking back down. So you see it keeps opening up. Because right oh, shit. Right at this point, at the top of that divot, that's that's full open.
But that thing warms up good too. Holy crap. Let it go five minutes. You can see here we're at five minutes. She's opened up well beyond the point there. So let me shut this off. 